Addiction has been a constant issue for us as human beings. Whether it be to cigarettes, drugs, or technology, every addiction has negative consequences. The advancement of technology in recent years has been extraordinary, but it has also been problematic. Software developers, above all else, are trying to make money. Therefore, they create websites and online games that are intended to be constantly revisited by the user. Other people can get hooked on social media, where they constantly feel as though they need affection from others through online means. Researchers have found that using technology can cause our brains to release dopamine in similar ways to those of addictive drugs. This therefore gets the tech user hooked and not able to put down their screen. Within technology addiction, a more specific strand is gaming addiction. Gamers are especially easily influenced, as they are competitive and they constantly want to be the best. They keep playing every day in order to be the best at a certain game or activity. Gaming addiction has also been shown to correlate with aggressive behavior. Children who play games tend to have more trouble containing their anger and have worse social skills. This is due to them constantly having a shield around them when they are online, allowing them to say and express ideas that they would never say in real life. While many youth today do not feel as though they have an addiction, they are very clearly unable to go any time span without their devices. Another problem that can come from internet addiction is online gambling. With the evolution of digital currency comes the rise of online scamming and betting. While kids aren't allowed into casinos in the real world, they can easily gain access to online gambling. Though this problem may seem simple, it can cause others to arise from it. It's common that a child invests money into a game, either to gain an edge on their friends or to unlock a new level. After a child gets bored with these items, however, they go online and attempt to trade them for other items. However, the innocence of these children is constantly exploited by malicious people online. Elaborate scams are put into place to get children to give away their money, expecting something back. These websites also claim to be fair, but the odds are always slightly sided towards the owners, making them win most of the time. The children that go on these websites can easily develop gambling addictions at a young age, causing them to start losing money and spending it irresponsibly. In some states in the US, gambling bans are in place, but most of them targeted towards real-life casinos. By finding loopholes in the rules, gambling site owners can make up their own restrictions for their individual sites, allowing the opportunity for much more profit. These gambling websites can also put agreements in their terms and conditions that are accepted by the user because they didn't read it properly. They then take the personal information from these people and they sell it to advertising companies for more profit. However, with every problem comes a solution, and how, however dysfunctional it may be, they do make differences. For example, there are some who are self-aware of their tech addiction and go to seek help. They sometimes turn to therapeutic counseling, such as cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy is a type of rehabilitation therapy designed to curb the desire to power on a device. This therapy also helps to eliminate some of the feelings associated with the craving for technology, such as stress and anxiety. This is a valid solution that can help with technology addiction, but it's also very con time consuming and can cost a decent amount of money to receive the proper treatment. There also have been studies done by the American Academy of Pediatrics, or AAP, regarding child technology usage. After performing an extensive study, the AAP concluded that children under the age of 2 should not be allowed any personal screen time. They also came to the conclusion that the screen time a child has should be heavily restricted until they are 10 years old. Technology addiction is a problem of increasing magnitude, but solutions are being created constantly that can help to solve this problem. Similarly to the industrial age, the digital age brought about many advancements in the way we worked. However, it also brought to life many problems. For the industrial age, it was the overuse of coal and the evolution of the use of coal. Now, it's addiction to technology. Hopefully, however, technology addiction won't leave such a big mark in history as burning coal did. We cannot let history repeat itself.